Hi there. So when you write a joint statement, it can be implemented internally by Spark in many ways. These are some of the ways your joint statement runs internally in Spark. Spark could be using shuffle hash joint strategy. It could be using broadcast joint strategy. It could be using sort merge joint strategy, broadcast nested loop joint strategy, or a Cartesian join. Now, size of your data, amount of memory available to Spark, skewness in your data, and the current partitioning of your data, like if it is sorted and partitioned already, all these characters play an important role for Spark to decide which join implementation strategy will be best for you, which will give us best performance. So let us discuss about shuffle has join in this video. In another video, we will discuss different kind of other join implementation. Shuffle has join is default join implementation in Spark. So shuffle hash join is implemented in these steps. First partition of data in both the tables is done and the data is shuffled across machines to make sure that uh, partitions with the same key are on the same machine. Then there is hashing done and there's an in-memory join that is done and your result data set is created. Let us understand it with an example. Suppose you have two data sets. One is an order data set. Another is a customer data set. Let us assume this is the data for order data set and this is the data for the customer data set. I want to join these two tables based on customer ID column. First step is to partition both the data sets. So this is orders data set. I'll partition by customer ID. It will give me three partitions. Node 1 will have partition 101, Node 2 will have partition 102 and Node 3 will have partition 103. Similarly, we'll partition customer data. Node 1 will have partition 101, Node 2 will have partition 102, Node 3 will have partition 103. You might have noticed that partitions having same key are on the same node, same machine, so that they can be joined locally. Now, the table which is smaller in both the data sets, there will be a hash table which will be created for that. For In our case, customer data is the smaller table. So there will be a hash table which will be created on this for each partition. So on node 1, there is a hash table and there will be only one entry, 101. On node 2, there will be one more hash table which will have only one entry, 102. And similarly on node 3, 103 will be another entry. Now, since the partitioning and hashing is done, we will join both the data sets. The hash table will be joined with the other partition of the orders table. Now, the entry from the hash table will be taken, which is only 101, and it will be joined with the bigger tables partition, order tables partition in this case. So, both the partitions will be merged in node 1. In node 2, similarly, partitions with ID 102 will be merged and in node 3 partitions with ID 103 will be merged and this is how the node 1 results will look like this will be node 2's result and node 3's result and when we see the combined set of results this is how the result will look like I hope this video was useful this was a quick demonstration of how shuffle has joined look like please like the video and subscribe to my channel